Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. Today, appropriately enough, I'm in a Walmart parking lot, Colorado Springs, close to Woodland Park, Colorado. Uh, the Green Monster is temporarily incapacitated while I wait for parts to be shipped to Redline Land Cruisers. So I was in Walmart. It looks like it's going to rain, killing some time. And as I'm driving out, lo and behold, I came across a Jeep Liberty. Now, this is the ultimate low-dollar overland off-road build, and I'm going to let the owner tell you all about it. So check this out. So at this particular Walmart, there were no shortage of Jeep Liberties whatsoever. But none of them could hold a candle to this thing. It came rolling around the corner with its homemade snorkel and Carl was ready to be interviewed. This vehicle was built and has done 50,000 miles worth of trails. It just goes to show that you don't need every bell and whistle and that any vehicle can be made trail capable. Okay, so like I told you originally, I'm driving out of Walmart and my snorkel saw his snorkel and we had to talk. So this is Carl. This truck is called Green Machine. The Green Machine. That's ironic. At any rate, if you guys have if you follow this channel, like you do, you know that I started out with a Jeep Liberty, took it to Moab, Moab crumbled it up, threw it away. I bought a Land Cruiser and went totally full retard. Now, for those people that need the shelter in place, feel free to do so, but I said it. It happens. Retard means to slow down. It's not a racial epitaph, but I digress. Carl, how did you start out with this truck? Picked it up at a garage sale. All right. $900. The guy took it out. He uh, got hit by a uh, landslide, crushed the back corner. We were going to just fix it, make it stock, go from there, give it to my mom. Kept looking at it, so screw that. Cut off the back, went all ape shit with it, like you said you did with yours. Indeed, <laughs> it happens, it happens. It does. So, it's just one thing at a time. Decided to take the roof off, like I said, because it got crushed. Uh, went from there, got a roll cage, built that in it, bent it all up, you know, put it in. So let's take bumper. a look at that. Let's... All right, Carl, the thing that caught my attention, other than the beautiful green color, the O'Reilly stickers, the teddy bear in the front push bar, <laughs> it would have to be the snorkel. Now, did you have this custom fabricated by a shop in Australia, or? No, this is all out of my garage. What? So I took some PVC. It is by all means not k and <laughs> right. There is a K&N filter on the inside. So I stuffed it full of rope, heated it with the heat gun, bent it so it didn't just fold on you. Which is smart. That's really and, smart. And uh, we made the bracket, set the house. Okay. And it works. Oh, 100%. I've had water come over our doors. Well, uh, I would imagine. So look, let me ask you on a side note, other, uh -huh. than, other than the fact that it was smart stuffing it so that it didn't just completely fold over. <laughs> right. You've had water to the doors. Did you start floating? <laughs> no, but you did hear go blah, 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 and it. <laughs> what did it sound like? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh huh. And it did feel like it was kind of floating. I couldn't tell. It was a shorter puddle, super deep. I got out of it, didn't go back in it. Sweet. <laughs> so, I'm gonna guess by the X's on the eyes that the bear didn't make it. No, sir, he did not. Now, did the bear break the light, or is that just a happy coincidence? It was happy. You know, I got done four wheeling one day. I came out front, and it was broken. So I'm guessing that was from my other buddy and his Jeep kicked the rock up. Right. It happens. <laughs> it happens. 
So, did you build this bumper? Because I've never we seen did. this before. It's so, gnarly. It's, I, I built this bumper to withstand a lot of stuff. I've hit trees in this coming down off of ice and snow. It hurt the tree, didn't move the bumper. Uh, no we, trees were hurt to make it in this video. <laughs> correct. Uh, we do have a Smitty built winch on the front, 9500. Wow. And uh, I got a Warren 8274 in the rear. <laughs> so that is a Warren 8274 winch. And it's completely operational. Completely it is operational. You got winching front and rear, which I do Correct. not. And it's an 8274. And you told me that the serial number is so low that it's probably one of the first that they ever built. I've called Warren and they didn't even have it on their records. It was so early. Dude, you they know how much was... that thing's worth? <laughs> I do. I do. Wow. <laughs> this is the second truck in a row that had front and rear winching on it. So it's completely inside the vehicle you don't have to all the way down it. through it it goes into the frame area the whole nine yards it will not move that is crazy ideally i could pick my jeep off of the ground without a doubt rear, without a doubt so. so i'm gonna guess that you built the front did you guys make this rear bumper as well yes sir that is significant is that the stock gas tank yeah Wow. I'm planning on putting a fuel cell in it, moving it up out of the way. But as of for right now, it's building on a budget. Right. No, no doubt. No doubt. How much would you say you have into this altogether? So, probably a little under 10 grand. And is that including the winches? And the Jeep. Wow. <laughs> and the armor. How many trails, how many miles have you guys logged on the so, trails? Like I got this Jeep, it had 92,000 miles. I have a little over 150,000 right now as all trail miles. Wow. And you guys live out here? Yes, sir. Wow. Does this rear bumper, I'm guessing by the hinges, it folds right down? Yes, it does. Back door still opens on it. Ian, Side doors are functionable. Everything's functionable. I got a full soft top that will cover everything. Wow. Wheel spacers? Yes, sir. And your suspension, I noticed that you had the same lift that I did in my Jeep Liberty originally, which is Jeep and by Al. Correct. Coilovers, so, it's badass, right? The, the rear is different, though. The rear is off of a late model Toyota 4Runner. <gasps> you <laughs> inbred them or mixed bred I them. I did, because the circumference is the same. The height from a stock will give you four inches. Wow, so you've got a four inch lift in this? Yes. And what size tires are you running? I got a quarter inch under 33s. So oh, wow. So on a on the small Jeep it, Liberty, those are big tires. They're 265, 75, 16s. Wow. That is a trip. Any more armor underneath that you've added? I got all the skid plates from front to back. From Jeep, the originals that yes. you can get? Yes. Were they already on it? Did you add no, them? No, I added them. Sweet. Yeah, I did the same thing. So. And you haven't had probably haven't had many issues with the rear fuel tank anyway, right? At all. I haven't had an issue at all, or I would have already had a skid plate over that. Right. right. <laughs> it's, it's funny how it's like, well, it seems good. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But and it, it is something you could fix. Here in the near puncture. future... Uh, my buddy that owns a sports shop here, or not sports shop, performance shop, he has an LS1 that we're going to put in it. So. Are you kidding? All right. All right. Well, this thing's got a full roll cage in it. It's no joke. So the roll cage comes down, mounts to the floor, comes underneath to the body, mounts into a triangle position underneath, so there's no play, no movement, nothing. This thing will take a beating. And uh, we got 410 gears in it. We, Which, uh, for a vehicle that's, I mean, that's more than enough. Now, you, oh, way sufficient. Did you do the 410s? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Everything I did on this myself, except for I had my buddy help me on the roll cage. Uh, Which worked, is smart if you're not a uh, super proficient exactly. welder. Exactly. I mean, and I'm not bad at welding or anything. Meaning, it's just he owns a fab shop. He has pipe benders, everything else. So right. it was a little easier to do it there than it was out of my garage. I got a single car garage. So <laughs> cool. All right, so Kyle, show us around the inside of this because I know if you've got over 50K on the trails, you've got this set up probably specifically so you can reach certain things, etc. I do. I do. So, I mean, all in all, I wanted the dash to look stock. Uh, I didn't really want to, well, back then, I didn't really want to just solid it up with a piece of sheet metal and everything right. else. And 
So I left everything there. I left the center console so I still got a cubby area. Everything behind it is gone if I didn't have all this camping stuff in there. Right, you guys are <laughs> heading out as we speak. Right I now. caught you right, right as we were leaving. And honestly, I appreciate the time. You know what yeah. I mean? I know you guys are rolling out. Your girl's been has been phenomenal <laughs> about this, so that works out well. Um, we're planning on doing the uh, solid axle in the front here uh, as well on it. Solid um, axle is the only, I mean, honestly, it's the way to go. It because is. it's just one whole group of things you don't have to worry about. Snapping, bending, twisting. Hopefully the next time you see it, it'll be up on 40s. <laughs> All right. All right, so any special body work that you've done on this? I see you've got flares in the front, the rears are gone. Yeah, the rears are gone. These were off of a Renegade, off of a 05. This is a 02 model, that's why it doesn't quite fit there, but whatever. It fits fine, We man. racked the hood up in the front here to let some extra heat out. Same purpose with the vent right here, because our feet were sweating inside. You know, your toes getting all moist when you're trying to trail, right? That ain't fun. So, Nobody wants moist toes. <laughs> no. So then a coil hood up in it and you know it's And it works? It works. Does it help? It works phenomenally. Phenomenal. So oh. it doesn't just help, it's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. The headlights are off of a Harley. <laughs> <laughs> the headlights are off of a Harley. I see custom tubing on the intake. And that is for the other rest of the snorkel to direct there straight in. The throttle body is port and polished. I got it up to 68 millimeters in there. Damn, dog. Uh, <laughs> so I do want to still put the LS in here, but the first thing we're going to do is just put the 47 in it. That's and just an easy direct swap. You have the jet chip because I can see it. Yes, I do. It, I put that in my Liberty and my truck went. Here we go, folks. Get ready for shelter. My truck went mental. I gave it the gas and it wouldn't stop. It just went bah! It oh, yeah. took off, but it was completely uncontrolled. Throttle response? No, but mine was mine wouldn't stop. No, no way. It was bad. Wow. Yeah, this one I haven't had an issue with. It was for an 08 Liberty. I think somebody missed a number here or there. Yeah. But it was like it was unbelievable, but it was bad. So it was bad, unbelievable. You're having good luck with it. I've had phenomenal luck with it. it throttle response, everything else, it has quite improved a lot of things. I put, I was getting eight miles a gallon. I put that in, and I'm right around 12. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Well, I can't think of anything else. We've covered the interior. I don't want to mess around too much in the inside because you got your gear. I said I would keep this short. We haven't, so who cares? <laughs> You've got recovery up front. You've got armor up front. What about uh, rock sliders? Nothing I on the side? I don't have them on yet. Those Rocky, Rocky Rail. Rocky Road makes a set of rails. Actually, they're in the middle of being made. There you go. There <laughs> I you just go. haven't put them on. What's, so. the, let me, what's, the, what's the worst thing that's happened to you on the trail that you can remember? We went through a river, and I had the tail hitch on. And the river looked really thin. They always do. And it ended up being really wide, covered with reeds and all the other it's stuff. It's like going home with it. Yeah, it's like getting drunk and go home. And, and it's like, you look really thin. And the acid fell down into the bank. We got landlocked, got stuck in the middle of the river, <gasps> had to climb out of it, dropped my pistol in the mud, left it there overnight. Thought I lost it, found it the next morning. <laughs> Safety first. Exactly. Unbelievable. <laughs> but you got the truck out? We got the truck out during the day. Now, you had front and rear winches at the time, or no, was this I previous? Not. I kind of thought so. Because I think with two winches, you could have just winched, winched, and pulled it straight up. Exactly. And then said, now what? Exactly. At and any rate. So, note to self or anyone else, take your ball hitch off when you go four wheeling. Indeed. I wanted to see if we can get a shot of that roof, because I can see that up top. I'm just short. It does say high altitude landscapes. That's the name of my company. Sweet. Highaltitudelandscapes.com. Yeah. And what is it you do? Landscaping. Everything. I should have figured that, right? Because it was all right there for me to figure out. But I'm not that smart. At any rate, all right, Kyle, I really appreciate it. Um, I guess that's it. It's a wrap. Anything? That's it. Sweet. You guys Stay have safe. Fun Stay on riding. the trails. We are out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more.